This is what they mean when they say secure the bag. what they mean when they say secure the bag. This is like the, you know, the travel toward like bus. But yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun, man. I'm really, really blessed and happy to be where I'm at right now and to be able to, you know, do all of this. It's just very, very, you know, it's a big blessing. Uh, that I'm able to continue my basketball hoop dreams uh, out here in Macau. So the journey is long, but you know it's worth it. Uh, it's worth all the hard work, all the dedication that I have to put in, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. That's crazy. Damn. Bathroom, everything is nice. So, man, so I guess this, this is the place where your boy's gonna be staying, you know, when he's out here hooping and training out in uh, Fasan. And uh, I've got to say, they take pretty good care of us, man. We each got our own apartment room. One thing I'm worried about is AC, oh my God, thank the Lord. They got AC, that's all I care about. So this is a training facility. It's crazy.
recap on the game. Uh, unfortunately, we took a tough loss. And, uh, you know, your boy didn't play the game. Uh, very disappointed and frustrated that, you know, I'm not able to go out there and help my team and contribute on the floor, you know, with this stupid hamstring injury that, you know, I've been trying to recover from. And um, I'm almost there, I'm almost back, I'm almost back. But I, I could have played as much as I want to. The smart decision was not to play because I knew that if I played, I would have re-injured it again and, you know, you know, um, you know, possibly tear it again because, you know, the game is, just takes up so much energy and, you know, the physicality. And uh, right now in my condition, my body, my hamstring is not able to withstand all that. So, um, damn, uh, piss, man. Like, that's like one of the worst feelings is like when you're just sitting on the sidelines, you feel so helpless because you're not out on the court, you know, being able to help your team. And it's tough, man, but hey, it's all part of the process. That's what sports is all about, whether it's basketball, football, whatever sport you're playing. The injuries always happen, but you gotta be mentally strong and just focus on you know the rehab and the recovery so that when you do get back, you know, you're ready and prepared to you know get back on the floor and you know continue to do what you used to do. So that's what I'm really focusing on. But yeah, I uh, we played a I think we played a really good game. Uh, I think fatigue hurt us uh, down the stretch of the game. Um, I think physically they were more athletic and in better shape than we were. And, you know, they were bigger, stronger, and, you know. But I think, you know, we played, we played, we played well, but, you know, I think fatigue just hurt us in the fourth quarter. And then we gave up a run, and then the game got away. But, so, I mean... These like these like friendly exhibition scrimmages are good for us because you know it prepares us for the ABL, you know. So I think that's really great. But man, I just can't wait to get back on the court, man. Dude, it's, it's killing me, bro. But yeah, right now, uh, gotta go get ready. I think we we'll grab dinner, you know, just to see what's in store next, you know, for the rest of the night. Right now we're meeting with some of the guys uh, about to get some dinner at this insane, I think it's a shopping mall or in this area. I mean, look at this, it. lit up in here. We got like the little floaty carts. Like we got, we got music banging over there. We got KTV over there. I mean, this intersection is popping. Oh man, I'm trying to ride one of these. I think we we going in this plaza. Oh, dad, choo choo train coming through. It's lit. Yo, this is a nice mall. Yo, they got a whole play place thing right here. Don't make me go down there. Oh, I see Nike. My favorite store. Y'all don't see it, it's literally right behind all these TVs. Right there, y'all see it? Swoosh. All right, so this place is called Charcoal Fish Grill and it's known for grilling fishes on like this like hot stove, which is uh, pretty good. I'm not sure what type of, you know, food or province it's from. It kind of looks like Sichuan stuff. There's a lot of peppers that I see from other people's dishes. But from what I know, the teammates said this place is pretty good, so I'm excited to try it. What's going on, guys? Team dinner right now. We got Jack, Ivan, Sam, Big B. What's up, Big B? <laughs> Joe. What's up, man? Um, your boy chaperoning the youngins today, man. These kids uh, are kids, but we having a good dinner. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Sam with the assist. Yo, just got back to my apartment. Man, uh, pretty long day. Um, dinner was amazing, the fish was really good, um, flavors were just 
so on point. We ended up going to go watch a movie. We went to watch uh, Spider-Man, you know, Far From Home. And I've got to say, that movie was pretty good, man. It was awesome. Um, it's, it's pretty crazy, man. I mean, this lifestyle of traveling and hooping is just like... I don't know. I just, I, I'm, I'm still like trying to absorb everything and trying to you know appreciate I mean not that I don't that I really do appreciate all of this this whole experience is just it's it's phenomenal it's nuts uh, it's you know obviously it's something that I've always always dreamed about doing and it's just I'm, I'm still in awe you know I still I'm still like shocked that I'm able to do this and uh, it's just a, it's just a blessing man it's a dream come true but I just can't wait to get back on the court, man, your boy. This hamstring problem, man, it's just such a reoccurring injury that I hate it so much. But, you know, the rehab, the recovery process, it's it's a difficult journey, man. I, I'm so frustrated. Uh, I just want to go on the court and, you know, be able to help my team and do what I do, you know. But being on the sidelines, man, I... It sucks, man, to, to watch your team when they need you. That's like the worst feeling, man. It's the worst feeling. But got to stay positive. Got to stay positive. And, uh, you know, the comeback is going to be strong. We're going to head back tomorrow, and we are going to continue to practice. And I think we got a tournament coming up in July, so we got to be prepared for that. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for continuing to support me and my journey and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed these type of videos, man, because I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can. Um, also, I'm doing a call out, man. If I'm looking to build a team of, you know, people who are able to help out in the YouTube production side in Macau. You know, whether you're a filmer, photographer, editor, a producer, whatever you may be, if you can contribute to the team somehow, please shoot me an email at hoopinlife at gmail.com with the header hoopinlife Macau and um, just tell me something about yourself on what you do and how you can contribute. Um, this is all paid stuff, so you know you guys will be compensated for work. But uh, yeah, man, just looking to build a team out here. So if you guys are interested, shoot me that email and uh, let's look to connect. That's pretty much going to wrap up for Fosan here and um, a lot of more stuff to come guys. Hope you guys are excited because I definitely am excited to show you guys. Until next time, Mr. Boy Nelly Nell from Hoop Life. I'm out. Peace.